Well, this year's Community Impact Award winner is the Indiana Department of Correction. Knowledge is power. The opportunity provided by a unique program at the Indiana Department of Correction is really truly making a difference uh, in a number of lives. And I'm pleased to be joined by Rob Carter, who is the commissioner of the Indiana Department of Correction. Rob, uh, welcome to the program. And again, congratulations on the award. Thank you so much for uh for the recognition and we're real excited about it. I'm so proud of the team. Uh, so proud of the ladies that, that uh, gave the presentation. It's, uh, I'm real excited. This was a, a big surprise to me. Yeah, to kind of tee thing, things up, the Indiana Department of Correction is the largest state agency. Talk about the size uh, of, the, uh, of the agency. Well, we have 21 facilities around the state of Indiana, have about uh, 6,000 employees. And there's roughly 27,000 offenders that are incarcerated at, uh, at, the, at the Department of Corrections. As you look at these, uh, this program, this is really at the heart of the award, the last mile program. I want you to talk about how it works, but how did it all get started uh, that IDOC uh, connected with this last mile program? Well, the last mile has been uh, around since 2010. It was a, uh, a not not-for-profit uh, organization was formed by Chris Revlitz and Beverly Parenti. Uh, Chris and Beverly seen the need uh, out there in California and uh, started San Quentin Prison. Um, the, uh, the program teaches not only uh, offenders how to code, uh, it, it also it, it teaches them soft skills and, and life skills and it's a year-long program. It's very extensive. It, it gets into a lot of the coding, but the main thing is it it uh, gives them confidence. And and uh, at the end of the program, when they graduate, they have to do a capstone. Uh, it's it, it's just really cool. We we fell in love with it. The governor uh, had met with a gentleman named Scott Wall, who is the president of Zotech Partners, and Scott Scott and his family uh, agreed to fund the first cohort that we had at the Indiana Women's Prison. And uh, that's basically how it got started in Indiana. We were the first franchise outside of the state of California to have the last mile. Uh, we're currently, we've got it in five different facilities. We've got a few graduates out there uh, that are working. Uh, two of the three ladies that, that presented the uh, presentation for this award uh, currently work for me uh, in the Department of Correction. One, is a webmaster. Uh, the other one is uh, working on uh, trying to line up businesses and, and uh, for for jobs for for graduates. So um, we're real excited about it. it uh, I believe in the program. It has zero percent recidivism. That's what impressed me the most about it. And just the confidence level that I've seen in the uh, in the students from from start you know to finish uh, was amazing. Yeah, the impact, uh, Rob, I think on the individuals uh, can be uh, life-changing in many ways. And, and these are, uh, again, are, are real, real skills, real jobs, and having real impact not only on the individuals, but also on the tech community looking uh, for good employees. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, they what we found is, especially with our employees, our webmaster especially, uh, she is heads and toes above a lot of the people that we've seen before, uh, just based on just her, her basic skills and her knowledge about, uh, you know, creating code and how to, you know, how to, how to work the web. And it, it is, it's amazing. Um, there was a, another lady, uh, Jennifer Fleming, who was part of the presentation. She works currently for the Department of Health. She worked for me for a short time, then she moved on to the Department of Health, got a really good job. I think she'd been promoted twice. And uh, she's really doing well. These ladies are doing good. Um, I can see why zero percent recidivism because it gives them skills and gives them the hope and they make a good income too when they get out. That's not a better story of redemption than, than this. Well, it's a, uh, a very impressive story. The Community Impact Award winner uh, this year at the Mira Awards, the Indiana Department of Correction for its uh, connection with the Last Mile program. Rob uh, Carter, the commissioner at IDOC, uh, thanks for joining us and congratulations on the award. Thank you so much.